Okay, so sewing these strips for the fireside quilt pattern is very, very easy and it's gonna go really fast. Um, what I love about this pattern is that you don't have to do a bunch of measuring and precise cutting. So I just have a width of fabric strip and I'm going to lay it out so it has a little bit of overhang. And then I'm going to, just like that, um, trim it. I'm gonna do that one more time on the other side. And just like that, trim it. And so now I have two strips that are just a little bit taller on each side than my center square. If this wasn't a solid, if it was a print, I would make sure that I would place right sides together. Because it's a solid, it's actually reversible, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to line up the right edges, and then I'm going to line up the left edges, just like so. And I am choosing to stick a couple pins in this, because when you're sewing long strips, you're, um, the tension on your sewing machine from the feed dogs, the, the, it feeds the, the top layer and the bottom layer through the machine at a slightly different pace uh, if you're not being really careful. It doesn't matter if you pin in or out. You can do either way, um, either way. See so how this one's going in, this one's going out. And then I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam. And um, if I have a couple blocks all lined up and ready to go, it would actually be the perfect opportunity to chain piece so that you can do one block and then without snipping your threads, you just send the next block on through. And then you're basically making two blocks at the same time. So it's like, you know, half the time, pretty nifty. Okay, I'm gonna sew my seam and then I'm gonna show you how I like to press. Okay, so just to explain what I have here is this is my wool pressing mat. This is a tailor's clapper. It's just a simple piece of wood and this is a spray bottle of water. I don't like to put water in my iron because I think it comes out spluttery. I mean, no matter how nice the iron is, I think it um, just eventually just kind of makes it struggle. This iron has lasted me for years and it will continue to last me for years because I have never put water in it. So. What I like to do is give it a press and I'm just, I'm actually literally just pressing down and that's just called setting the seam. Next, I finger press it open. You know, that's my Aliso iron, it's the little feeder just going on and off. I'm gonna flip that off. I like to press it open just like this. I try my hardest not to stretch it, distort that seam because I want it to be really nice and, um, and flat and I don't want it to be wavy. And if you, you know, the, the sure ticket to waviness is to really push on a seam or even do it with an, a steamy iron and, um, and push that seam out because fabric is pretty malleable. And if you do that, um, it, it will do, you know, it will warp in the direction that you're telling it to warp. Okay, so now I've, I've pressed my seam and if you really want this seam to stay, I spray it with some water and, and I, it looks like I'm, I'm moving this iron over the seam, but I'm doing it just so lightly. So it's really not warping it, warping it at all. So I'm just going to let that kind of heat up underneath the iron. And then once that, see that it's all, um, that steam is all dry. <laughs> I'm going to let it cool underneath the clapper. So that's the whole point of the clapper is, is you don't clap it down. You don't have to even do pressure, really. You're literally just letting the fibers of the fabric cool underneath this wood. There's I have a blog post on the science behind this, why this works, and that locks in this crease right here. So this is just gonna stay really nice and flat pretty much forever, unless it gets wet. Okay, now I'm gonna do it on the other side. And typically I would say, press your seams toward the darker fabric, but with fireside, because you're working with these narrow little um, strips, I suggest you just press your seams out. Of course, that doesn't, that's not like a hard and fast rule. You know, if you're dealing with black and white fabric and you're like, oh, but I just know that those, you know, those seams are gonna show the black fabric underneath the white fabric, that you're gonna see that ghosting, that's what that's called, um, then yeah, then then press toward the darker fabric. You don't, you don't have to, it's not, yeah, 
It's not going to make or break anything. None of these seams nest, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to let that cool and I just let it cool for a few seconds and then I'm good to go. So I'm going to take this to my cutting mat and I'm going to trim it and then I'm going to sew my next two strips. Okay, I'm back with our unit um, and I'm going to line up the edge. I'm gonna to try to use the guides of my ruler to really keep this as straight as possible. I'm gonna trim this off. I'm gonna cut away from myself. I'm gonna line this up one more time and you know, I'm gonna take my time because you know, this is kind of the foundation of the quilt, these blocks. There we go. And now I'm ready to do my next strip. Here we go. And this is gonna be kind of a scrappy version. So I'm gonna come in here with this. This this is a print. So you can see I am gonna do right sides. I'm gonna let it hang off for you know at least a quarter inch. Um and then I'm gonna maybe use another one of these. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. You can make this scrappy, even though the pattern is written for yardage. Um, just because it's written for yardage doesn't mean you can't use up your scraps. And when I get to the much longer rows, I'm just going to sew these scraps together. So I'll just use a vertical seam and I'll um, sew them together just like this and then use that as its own strip. So I'm not there yet. I'm still, you know, I'm still working in the very beginning stages. Flip this right sides together, and then I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing. I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine, and I'm gonna sew my quarter inch seam after I pin it together. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm.